Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for uh, Gemini. Uh, this is going to be for August 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements, okay? Uh, we're going to take a look at someone. Uh, basically, we're going to take a look and see what card maybe they are facing. So this could be someone that you dealt with in the past or recently or currently. We're going to see how this person did do dirty. And then we'll finish off the read to see, uh, you know, what karma this person is currently facing or will face moving forward. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Um, also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Um, I do post readings on there too, all right? So tell me about Gemini. Gemini. The person that Gemini was dealing with or currently is dealing with, how did this person do Gemini dirty? How did this person do Gemini dirty for August 2023? Whatever this was, I feel like there was a situation where someone here was very codependent, very needy of you. This person was very smothering. I feel like this person was really grabby. Or that this person took a lot from you. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles here and the Empress in the reverse. Libra Taurus here. We have the Page of Swords in the reverse. Whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual. Uh, a Page of Swords in the reverse, Leap or Aquarius, Gemini. This person had a hard time telling the truth. This person kept a lot to themselves here. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like the reason why that this person was behaving this way is that I feel like this person had a lot of baggage, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, um, you know, uh, just PTSD here from their childhood. I do feel like whoever this is, this is an individual that had a strained relationship with a parent, such as a father or a mother figure here, okay? And I feel like, you know, one of the reasons why maybe this person had a hard time being honest is that this person might have been reprimanded as a kid for being honest, got in trouble for it. And I feel like this person has difficulty speaking the truth here, okay? But yeah, I feel like this person took a lot from you or that this person sucked your energy here. This person was just really smothering very needy here okay perhaps very controlling also with the queen of wands here aries little sagittarius energy i don't know i feel like this person was really mean also i i, I feel like this person had a bit of a temper like i feel like this person could could like throw temper tantrums this person was throwing things around this person was screaming a lot okay um yeah, I, I just see like this person's mask slowly, slowly kind of fell off here. The Four of Pentacles here. We have the Eight of Cups, the Empress in the reverse here, and the Seven. Yeah, this person was very dishonest here. Yeah, this person was very dishonest. I feel like this person was just very emotionally cold here too. Yeah, this person was very emotionally cold. I feel like this person could not really empathize with you or connect with you on a deep emotional level here, uh, uh, Gemini. Page of Swords in the reverse here with the King of Wands. With the Kings and Queen of Wands here. This is a true pair. This is a soulmate connection here. Someone here was being very dishonest here. You know, I you know one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like this was like maybe learned behavior from the parent here too. You know, that empress could be a parent, like, like I said, a parent parental figure here, or that a parental figure got involved in the situation here. And I feel like maybe someone here never really had your back because of this parent getting in the way here. Ten of Wands with the Five of Cups. Ace of Swords with the Eight of Swords. Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. This situation between you and this person was very unhealthy. It was based on fear. It was based on lies. I just feel like someone here just kept disappointing you over and over and over again. I feel like this person was projecting a lot of their pain, a lot of their hurt onto you. This is interesting. This might also be a situation that you're 
this your the person that you're you dealt with or is dealing with this person could have lost a parent as a kid and you feel like when that happened something shifted with your person here okay and that's why maybe that's one of the reasons why this person is behaving the way that they're behaving here uh what karma is this person currently facing or will face moving forward for august 2023 for gemini here for gemini The hangman in the five of swords here. This person's so insecure. I mean, this person, I mean, by this person being in this consciousness here, this is a karma that they're creating for themselves because, you know, basically, you know, they're, they're behaving this way. Okay. So I feel like whatever doubts, whatever insecurities that this person has been going through in life, they have to work on releasing that. Yeah, they have to work on releasing that. They have to work on healing their pain here, their hurt. They have to tap into facing that grief, okay? So let's see. Some of the cups here in the full, this person is completely aloof to their emotions. This person is like a, a like an avoidant. This person avoids anything that's difficult, especially when it comes to emotions here. I mean, this person's definitely facing your karma. I, I actually don't really see this person taking the time out to actually work on themselves to heal here. Yeah, I, I almost get the sense that this person, you know, kind of like missed out or lost out on their childhood here because, I, because of some event, a major event that happened in this person's childhood. And I feel like this person still acts like a child. Yeah, this person still acts like a child here. Uh, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy, Four Cups here, and Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy. This person won't answer the call from the universe, from their guides and their angels and their ancestors to face this. Yeah. This person is scared to go to that place. You know, if you don't face the darkness, you just don't experience the light. You know, I mean, no matter how much you run away from it, how much you uh, 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 sweep it under the rug, it always has a way of catching up to you. And that, and that is this person's karma because this person's avoiding it, the fool. In the three of wands, this person's completely aloof to dealing with their emotions here. I feel like this person uh, passes the time or tries to like, you know, uh, sweep it under the rug by you know having like a lot of sex or like hooking up with a lot of people yeah I mean keep in mind whoever is doing this you know this is an individual I mean that's only putting a band-aid on the, the the wound here it, it, you know you have to work on healing that wound uh, so yeah so Gemini, I hope that this uh, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.